I, I'm with you. I'm with you. The Jacksonville Jaguars are the last team from the AFC South that we're going to hit today. And they got a lot of picks. Good gracious. Their win total is set at five. Their starting quarterback, now that Nick Foles is gone, it looks like it's going to be Gardner Minshew unless they decide to bring in one of these free agents. Uh, I, I mean, the only one left really is Cam. That's it. I mean, only we'll the lonely. We'll see. But if, if they bring in Cam, uh, or if they don't bring in Cam, it lets me know they are not interested in winning this season. So, you know, we'll see. I think I think they're only interested in winning this season if they realize Minshew is their Drew Lock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I could see that. Uh, by the way, Michael said if we're uh, if we're all getting a wish, referring to you wishing that uh, that Deshaun was on uh, the Patriots, he said if we're all getting a wish, I'll take J Lo at my place. I. You I'm with J Lo. <laughs> I have Sean at the Patriots. I think I'm going to get more out of mine than you're going to get more out of yours. Maybe so. It, well, it depends on how long he gets J Lo at his place. I mean, this is all a dream, right? So whatever. Uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> give me another 10 years. I'll take it. Uh, hey, Michael said you know, uh, the best advice I've ever been given. I don't know if you checked in a couple years ago, a couple weeks ago. I'm going to give it to you again. Best advice I've ever been given. She ain't the only one that's got one of them things. Hey, you got that right. <laughs> they all got one of them things. That was that was last week. I remember that. Uh, the Don't Jags me. took my guy, Chenault, from Colorado. Uh, hurt me when they picked him. He'll be a waste down there. Come on, now. I don't know. Come on, they're building this team. Yeah, they're uh, Here, let's let's roll through them all, okay? I'm, I'm just going to, like, normally I like to stop and talk about them, but here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to break them all. I'm, I'm, I'm they got a doing lot of all. damn picks. They got a, a lot. lot we of. can't go through all these guys. They got a lot of damn picks. Oh, that's a, I, I can roll through all of them here. Here we go. We'll roll them, but. Round one, they had two picks. Cornerback C.J. Henderson at nine, and number 20, edge rusher Clavon Chasen out of LSU. Round two, they got wide receiver LaVisca Chenault out of Colorado. You know that's my guy. I'm all about him. Uh, round three, they got defensive lineman Devon Hamilton out of Ohio State. Round four, they had two picks. They had offensive tackle Ben Bart out of St. John's. That's D2, by the way. And then round four, they got cornerback Josiah Scott out of Michigan State. Oh, sorry, they had three in round four. Uh, linebacker Shaq Quarterman out of Miami, Florida. Now, obviously, Miami's defense really good last year, but uh, offense was And Michigan State's defense, more. always good. Always good. Yeah, you got that no, right. I, listen, I like... I like this draft. I don't yeah. know how long it'll be before these guys actually make a difference on that team. I mean, I think they're all they're all projects, pretty much. I re- but, and they outside of the one kid from D two, they everybody came from a big boy school. You got that right. Uh, they at round, least play good competition. They didn't take somebody who wasn't tested. Now you got that right. Uh, round five, they had two picks: safety Daniel Thomas out of Auburn and wide receiver Colin Johnson out of Texas. Both, like both those picks, both pretty good picks. And then like round both six. Those picks. Round six, they had two draft picks in round six. Quarterback Jake Luton, Luton out of Oregon State, who everybody in the free world kind of thought that the uh, Patriots were going to take. And <laughs> and then, of course, uh, <laughs> the Jags end up getting him. Uh, he's tall. Uh, ben L. on YouTube said Jake Luton is tall. The, yeah. Jake Luton is tall. It, it's I heard this guy's name. I don't remember ever watching him play. Gary swears I watched him play a game with you him. You did um, last year. I don't. I don't remember that. You and I if sat I in Hollywood game, Casino and watched Oklahoma that State. Guy was so not in Oregon memorable. State. I didn't remember him being in that game. They scored so many points. You just didn't know his name yet. But as soon, but as soon as they said the Patriots liked him, I said, "Let me guess. He's he's tall." He's going to be like six five, six six, or bigger. Yep. He's going to not just be like a junior coming out that was like some elite guy. He's going to be like a red shirt fifth year senior. Okay, something of that. He's he been a captain for five years. He's been on the team. He's old. He graduated. I bet he graduated with honors. Like all of these <laughs> attributes, because I know Bill Belichick. Yes. And literally, we looked it up and just check mark, check mark, check mark. Oh yeah, all, all the way down the list. He fit them all. It, this is Bill Belichick's perfect quarterback, by the way. Oh yeah, this and, is him. And instead, uh, Doug Marone has got him down in Jacksonville, and I'm <laughs> that's fine with me. They got two more picks left: tight end Tyler Davis out of Georgia Tech, who knows, and then cornerback Chris Claybrooks in the seventh round out of Memphis. Uh, Big boy, yeah, 
Clay Brooks. I got no idea if he can play cornerback in the NFL. I I don't know if he can play in the NFL. I know he could play at Memphis. He was pretty good at Memphis. Because uh, well, he's I, an athlete. I mean, so I watched every game. There. I mean, this is what you do in the seventh round. You just take yeah. you just take Sparks guys. You got uh, that right. Oh, yeah, you run a really good three cone, and you you're explosive. You got a long jump and and, and a vertical. Yeah, 100%. we'll just give you a shot. Uh, the kid from Oregon State, by the way, the quarterback, six foot seven, with a Ooh, tremendous great. arm and has shown sharp decision making. He may not offer any mobility or anything outside How old the pocket. Is he? How old is he? Thirty-two. Uh, well, basically, I mean, he was—I uh, think he was a fifth-round senior, or fifth, uh, uh, fifth-year senior. Uh, he said he can be a quality backup to Gardner Minshew. Um, and so let's let's go through some of the comments right quick. We got uh, we got two more. McKinnon on Facebook said, "Are we running with Minshew mania?" I do feel like he got thrown into a hellstorm last year and did relatively okay, way better than any analyst had him doing in the NFL before last season. Well, look, he right. was a sixth-round pick, and Nick Foles got hurt in the first game. He, he did know? substantially better than anybody would have guessed or projected. If he played for the Steelers last year, the Steelers not only make the playoffs but could make a run. That's the difference between how good he is compared to the slums that they were putting out there. 100%. And then Michael, that doesn't mean he can start in the NFL and be a star, but he's at least going to have a shot. Uh, you got that right. Uh, he will be in the league for a while. I would guarantee that. Well, yeah, he'll be a backup no, if, if he can't start. Every team want him as a backup. Every team. Michael on Twitch said, how long before they're leaving Jacksonville and filling everyone else's roster? (laughs) He's trying to kill him. He's trying to kill him. I like this draft. I thought it was good. I like this draft. They they I I think they win the draft for this division in volume and quality. And they they drafted the way I like, which is they if you if you got late round picks, you don't know what you're doing. Just take athletes, man. Just take a dude that's big and strong and fast, and and we'll figure this thing out. Maybe he can play, maybe he can't. But at least I swung. Um, I love the early picks all the way down. The only kid I, I can't tell you I know anything about the St. John's kid, but but all the way till you get to 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 the sixth round, all their first, one through fifth round picks, I I like a yeah, lot. Yeah, big fan. I, I mean, all guys that have been tested against good competition. LaVisca Chenault, I mean, obviously, second round. You take a flyer on him. He was first-round talent. Oh, just only had the medical because issues. of injury was he second round. Yeah. Uh, Clevon Chason uh, out of LSU, obviously. Yeah, I mean, they, they got him at number 20. He probably could have gone earlier than that. C.J. Henderson, 100% all in on that. Devon Hamilton, uh, defensive lineman out of Ohio State. Like, he showed out last year. Like, yeah, these, these this is a good draft. Like, this is a good draft. This is a good team. They really are a team that, you know, probably needs to look at some skill players at some point in time outside of Chenault. But yeah. you know me. I, well, I mean, that, Colin Johnson, I, you know. I would get skill players very last. Running backs and receivers are the last thing I care about. So, you know. Well, I mean, they still got Leonard Fournette. I mean, are they going to I mean, are they going to trade him? They're trying to trade him, but nobody wants him. I mean, that's. They're that's not going to pick up his fifth-year option. So, after this year, he's, you know. He's done. I, they're I probably know. they're going to let him walk. They're not going to pay him. Uh, Michael said, Hi, I respect the uh, hell out of Minshew, though. How can you not bull for that guy? I mean, one, look, he's insanely entertaining. The guy's got a, an incredible mustache. He's wearing the headband. like, And he's just likable. Like, yes. in an interview that you see with him, I mean, my goodness, his interview on uh, on Pardon My Take after, like, week three or whatever it was, I mean, it, fantastic. The guy's unreal. Uh, he's he's incredibly personable, and you got to like that in a guy. Um, if he's going to be your team leader, like, you, you need that. You need that 100%. So, who uh, who won the AFC South draft and who lost it? I'm going to go with the Jaguars won it. I think they did pretty good. They they looked like a well-run organization for at least one night. We we, we agree here. Now, listen, they could be a well-run organization now. They fired all those other guys, all right? Yeah. I mean, you're right. I, I mean, this is, not, this is not the same old dudes picking these. And here's the problem, okay? They, in the past, have drafted well, no problem. Okay, yeah. drafting is not a problem. It is keeping the guys in there, and and realistically, I'm about to about to sit on a guy I respect, but Tom Coughlin ruined this team. Oh okay? yeah, he came in there as a general manager and tried to treat them like he was the head coach. And the whole if you're not five minutes early, you're late, and finding guys, and you just can't do that to people. Not okay? not, not in today's I mean, NFL. And then you can't get free agents to come there because. The, I mean, they have more because of Tom Coughlin. They have more disputes with the NFLPA than any team. If you added all the other teams combined, 
they they had obscene amounts of disputes because of that, which is one of the reasons Coughlin is gone. You oh, yeah. just can't do that anymore in the NFL. You can't. Uh, you sure can't. Michael said, uh, I really did like the Jags draft, just didn't have faith in the franchise. And I think that speaks for everybody. Uh, but, who who but lost? The franchise is only who makes them up. I don't think they have yeah. an owner that's making decisions or doing crazy things. So it's – they could be – I don't – I couldn't tell you anything about who's running this team now, okay? Oh, yeah. I know this. I always liked Doug Marone a lot. I thought he got a bad rap when he first got there. He didn't want to re-up with the Bills when they had an ownership change. He had an out clause. He walked away from an NFL coaching job. I understand that. I, I respect that. I think he's a better coach than what he's been given. I don't think he's had any talent at all. Now, has he he picked some of that talent? I don't know. I don't know. Was he a decision maker ever there? So, yeah. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Michael, uh, I think he probably agrees with, with both of us. I'd say Colts, Jags, and close second, Titans, and who knows what the hell's going on in Houston. I think the Texans probably lost this draft. They didn't have a ton of picks, and I don't really like what they did with the majority of them. Um, and then, and like I said, I kind of was trying to make myself pick somebody other than them because I just feel like at some point in time it's piling on, but I'm not trying to make friends. I'm not trying to – I'm telling you my honest yeah. opinion. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Now, now if it works out, there's a reason you get paid a lot of money to do what you do, and I get paid very little money to do what I do. But I don't, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't think – I just don't like building a team that way. I will tell you this. The way Jacksonville is building this team, listen, there was a day and a time where this team was not ready to make a run, and they were drafting running backs in the first round, i.e. Yep. Leonard Fournette, my boy. Like, you know, that's not, that's not what you do. That's what losing teams do. Joseph they Gomez go on YouTube. Flashy toys when the team is not ready for flashy toys. Joseph Gomez on YouTube said, uh, "I thought the son of the billionaire that bought the Jaguars is not taking over." Uh, I, no, 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 no. He's not guy, the GM. That guy, that guy's not taking over. That guy is a moron and going to get his dad in trouble. But he's, he's fighting with players on Twitter. Is what he's doing. Yeah, but um, he is he is absolutely not taking over. Michael said the real question in Jacksonville: Who has a better stash, Con or Minshew? Uh, I think they're both. Well, now, Con stash is is a old, mature man. Like, like yes, yes, yeah. that's right. That is that is this is the difference between Burt Reynolds, all right, and and hipster stash. While I love Minshew and I respect Minshew and I love the stash, it is very much just a hipster stash. You got that right. All right, uh, so we we both think the Texans lost the draft, um, yeah. and then we both think the Jags won. Yep. We uh we have run an hour and fifteen minutes. Is there wow. anything else that we need to hit today? No, sir. Let's go home. Wonderful. Let's uh, let's do that. I got to get out of here and get the boys. So, uh, we appreciate all you guys for jumping in. Obviously, we appreciate the guys that jumped in the chat. You guys have driven the conversation day after day after day. We can't thank you enough for doing that. Share the show out. Tell your buddies about it. We would definitely appreciate that. Make sure you are subscribed on whatever your favorite platform is, whether it's podcast or video. Uh, and, yeah, it, as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.